Huzzah, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play AIM2R for the PC Part 8. Last time, we made our way into Phase 7 and got the Plasma Beam, and today we're off to explore the rest of it, exterminate the rest of the Metroids that lie within, and maybe find some more upgrades. And it looks like the Metroids here will be pretty easy to find, seen a lot of passageways with like blatant Metroid shells lying about which kind of indicate where they'll be so I think we'll be good to go from here ew yucky thankfully the Zeta Metroids are less annoying than the, the Gamma ones simply just from the fact that their hitboxes are more forgiving. <laughs> also, it's, it just seems like because their movement isn't as sporadic, I don't know, it just seems like it's, they're easier to deal with. That doesn't make them any less easy, but... Well, actually, yeah, it does. because it takes like more missiles to kill them. <laughs> Darn it. Ah, I can't even move. Am I about to die to this again? I swear to God. Oh my god. Those things are retarded. <sighs> and here comes the multiple deaths. <laughs> that happens at some point in the LP. It's like it locks you into the freaking wall and you can't even move. <laughs> Just gonna be ruthless with super match missiles from here on out. How many missiles does it take to kill these things too? It uh, see like it gets you locked into like a bad position and it's like what do? I better not die to this thing. Again! Wow, <sighs> freaking time. Oh my god. Why are you things so annoying to hit? Because <laughs> now it's like to the point of where, yeah, you guys are easy to find now, but now it's like I gotta take precautions before I even bother entering the room.
layout for this room be forgiving? Uh, doesn't. Oh. They don't provide very lenient battlefields for these things, do they? are getting more annoying by the moment. <laughs> Spider Ball is still good for something. <laughs> This is like far less annoying than the one in Metroid 2 because in that game it was just like complete and utter darkness like you didn't have like any indicated gag like pathways you kind of just had to go off of instinct. I had to kind of make that less annoying. <laughs> How I'm getting there on the other hand is to get what's presumably our last energy take in the game too so we'll be pretty good on those and just a few okay I just experienced a bit of lag there I don't know what was up with that but <laughs> so yeah I think we're about maxed up on energy tanks now which is pretty good pretty good I'm satisfied I just gotta find a freaking exit. <laughs> Why not? 
it's like, what's the point of even trying to fight intelligently against these things? It's, their hitbox is so stupidly precise. That's like my main problem with this game so far. And probably like my only real gripe with it, really, is that these things just... You kind of have to cheese your way through them, otherwise you're not going to get much out of like pay, playing it patient. And I don't like that. Save station sitting right off in the corner. <laughs> oh, hey, I can go back and get that. Oh, wait, no, I can't because I don't have power bombs. Sorry. Well, while we're over here, I might as well go ahead and kill off that Zeta Metroid that killed me last time we fought it. Okay, so you can hit it while it's dashing towards you too, that's nice to know. I think my only complaint about the other one I fought earlier was the terrain I had to fight it on. This is a good time to follow it. See, like, this one isn't too bad because it's like, the hitbox stays con constant, if that makes any sense. And you're kind of like fighting them in a more direct pattern than just like fiddling around with just trying to predict where he's going to be and then pray to God you land ahead. I'm okay with that kind of design. I'm not okay with the gamut Matt Choi's design at all. Then again, I don't think I ever particularly recall ever like fighting the gamma Metroids back in Metroid 2. Mostly because, like, the little shock beam they create, like, you, can, you can't even, like, shoot past that. It's, like, some kind of, like, barrier or something, and it's, like, really annoying to try to navigate your missiles around without, like, it deflecting or something. I don't know. Oh, I know where to go. Never mind. Let's head off in that direction. Let's see what we find. Oh god, my foot is killing me. <laughs> I'm like sitting in a position to where my body is like sitting on top of my foot. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but it's Ken Meister LP. What have you come to expect by this point? I'm not gonna get the screw attack, by the way. I know it was in phase seven, but maybe they might have located it somewhere else or whatever. Oh, hey.
Uh, I was gonna see if that worked. Probably not, but. Spark can't even go through the beams. That's okay. That's interesting. God, that was so close. I swear, if it got me trapped in that corner, like I did last time, I would have probably died. That's all the Metroids in the area, but I've still got quite a bit of unfinished business left in here. I'm probably gonna have to end up backtracking here later. Just to see what I can muster. I just now noticed I could do that. Like, I just barely tilted my analog stick, and that's cool. I don't recall any other Metroid game doing that, come to think of it, other than the Moonwalk from Super Metroid, if that's similar in any way. That's cool. too quiet for my liking. Probably gonna have a boss battle here soon. I can just sniff it around the corner already. It's probably for a shortcut back. Man, 
maybe it was more. A whole lot of Planet RSR 388. Holy crap. Well then, I guess we'll save the uh, the suspension for later, but for now, um, this is going to be the end of part 8 of our playthrough, so uh, join us next time at AM2R Blind when we uh, explore the rest of this um, abandoned factory? Lab? From the looks of it, maybe? I don't know. I'm a bit scared, actually, so... Uh, I guess I'll see you guys then. Bye.